It's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. Okay then, it being Halloween and all that, I thought I'd do something a little bit topical, shall we say. This is Zombie Apocalypse 2 for the Commodore Amiga. It is basically a... Well, you can see what it is. I don't know what's up with the sound. The sound is completely messed up. I don't know why, but I'm going to go with it anyway. It's very, very simplistic, but I just, I love the, the zombies, they're great. How did a zombie get a gun? This is like w walking down Workshop High Street on a Saturday afternoon. Except they probably don't walk as quick. You do have grenades and missiles. Um, yeah. Left button is your normal gunfire thing. Right button is grenade, I think, and, and both buttons together is missile. Or something like that. Gotta love the bits of legs and stuff flying around. Legs and arms and feet and... yeah. You take damage if a zombie goes off the other side. This is a real, this disc I've had for like, I don't know, 10, 12 years, something like that. Um, which is probably what's wrong with the sound, there must be some corruption on the disc. I probably should have downloaded a new version of it, but I didn't. Long story short. Yay, triple whammy bonus, blah, blah, whatever. Hey, yep. I do love the zombie films, George Romero zombie films, 28 days later, 28 weeks later, all of that kind of thing. Not so much into the, the spoof ones, your Return of the Living Dead kind of thing, they're less my cup of tea, but the proper uh, relatively serious zombie films I really do like. Not so much into a... Uh, I love, di I mean, of the more recent ones. Diary of the Dead, I really like. Land of the Dead, I found it was too big budget to uh, go on all Hollywood and... Oh, excellent. Yeah, they'd, they'd gone a bit too big budget with Land of the Dead for my liking. This is hurting my wrist. <laughs> I'm playing with a trackball and it's it's a weird wrist position, shall we say.
I don't know how long this goes on for, like how many levels there are, how many backgrounds, anything like that. Uh, not a clue. I'm probably going to die relatively soon. You've got an energy thing up there. Will that be replenished? No. Got to love a game that tells you to piss off. Literally. Is this by this is done in Blitz Basic 2. I don't know if it's done by Acid Software. It might be. That would be the people who did that uh the recent video I put up, um Skid Mark. Gotta love a software house that tells it it's customers to piss off. God. That was one fast zombie. Yeah. Well, I think you get the gist. I mean, this could go on for ages. So I probably ought to stop, really, because it's just going to... What? He's got no clothes on. It's truth, mate. He's got no strides on. Good Lord. That's... <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm out of ammo. Ah. It's like, I, I kind of look like that in the morning. Um, obviously more rugged and handsome, but, you know. I'm out of... Oh, good God. Well, there's really not a lot else I can say about this. I mean, it's, it's, it's amusing for a bit, but it is incredibly repetitive. And it's public domain, I believe. It was done with, with Blitz Basic. It came, oh, there we go, I died anyway. It was on the cover of a magazine. In fact, I think it was on the cover of several magazines. Um, yeah. Zombie Apocalypse 2 as a, uh, a Halloween special kind of thing, almost. Not really special at all. In fact, it was a bit crap, especially seeing as the sound is all corrupted. But there you go. So, yes, Halloween crap, Zombie Apocalypse 2. Thank you for watching. This and videos of other retro games in my collection and a video of my console and computer collection can be found on my YouTube channel, along with a link to my website, RetroGamingCollector.com. So take a look at that if you've got nothing better to do. Thank you for watching.